Yo, we're back in Europe uh, from San Francisco International Airport. We took Air France directly to Paris and uh, now we are in the Marais district. And our first meal in Paris was at Robert at Louise. It's uh, basically a steakhouse and we got the ribeye steak and also the duck breast with honey sauce. Uh, we also got the snails and uh, it was a pretty decent meal. Um, the ribeye steak was a lot more rare than we normally are used to and the duck breast was really good um, and the escargot tasted very clean and fresh. So now we are just walking around Paris and hoping to get over our jet lag. Check out the first hotel that we're staying in in Paris. It's called Hotel Le Mariul and it's located near the Marais district. And it's a very nice looking hotel. Um, we are in room number 55, which is on the fifth floor. There's a pretty nice view of our quiet street out the window and uh, the bed here is amazing. We were able to get a very good night's sleep to adjust to the jet lag. Uh, we're pretty much fully adjusted to the jet lag and it's only been one night so far. So uh, this is a very um, nice thing about this hotel which is you're able to get a very good night's sleep. However, the rooms are very small. They're about 170 square feet, which is around, uh, I think around 16 square meters or so. And uh, we're constantly bumping into each other inside of the room. But otherwise, you know, everything else is uh, nice about this hotel. The shower is nice. The bathroom is, is a decent size. And uh, we're gonna go get breakfast here in about 30 minutes and uh, hopefully the breakfast here is also good. We're uh, planning to stay here for another two nights and then we're gonna move to a hotel called Hotel de Arts in the Montmartre district and so that hotel is actually supposed to be even smaller so I think the um, the lifestyle in Paris is kind of get outside and don't really stay inside so a lot of the rooms here are very small. The breakfast was very good. It's pretty typical of um, a European hotel breakfast, but uh, it was very clean and all the food was uh, very good. What we love about Paris so far is that it's very clean. It's a lot cleaner than Rome and the buildings are very beautiful, especially when the sun is out and the sun is hitting the buildings and the trees and the leaves and everything. Everything looks very colorful. The colors are vibrant and very soothing. Paris is a lot more interesting to walk around than in Barcelona because the streets here are more, uh, there's a lot of more diagonal streets rather than square and rectangular streets. So you're walking through a lot of interesting alleyways and small streets. It's the end of May, so the weather right now is fantastic. Uh, it's sunny and it's perfect for walking. There's not that many homeless people here, but uh, there's still a few in certain areas. You may notice that a lot of these videos are very fast paced. I'm talking very fast because our memory card is very limited and we're trying to make the most out of it. Going through Hardon du Plant and it's a very peaceful garden. It's a nice walk and we're enjoying our time here. So we recommend it. One of the biggest challenges for me so far is finding a restroom in Paris. Uh, we're walking around for about an hour and a half now and we haven't really run across any public restrooms. We're walking through the Hardon du Luxembourg. It's a bigger garden than Hardon du Plant. There's a lot of places to sit down and just enjoy the sounds and the sights of the garden which is very beautiful. Some of the uh, sidewalks in Paris are pretty narrow, so you do have to watch out for the cars moving on your right. There's definitely something special about the Paris sunlight in late May. The sun at noontime is still very golden and it has a very pleasing color and cast to it. We just had lunch at De La Tour. It's a restaurant near the Eiffel Tower. We got uh, the 
the formula menu and then also an extra main dish. Um, I think we got the pork stew, the sea bream, and also the duck pate. Um, so all of the dishes were very good. I think this is one of the best meals I've had in Paris so far. Um, basically everything was uh, tasted delicious so we highly recommend the restaurant. Some streets in Paris definitely remind us of Barcelona. There's a very rare free toilet on the basement level of the Galleries Lafayette. Uh, while we were there we, I got some Joe the Juice, some sportsman juice something with passion fruit, bananas and apple. It was pretty good. That's all for our first full day in Paris. Uh, we're gonna end the day by sitting next to the river scene and eating some of our macarons that we ordered from Pierre Hermé. We got the uh, passion fruit, the seashell leaf, the chocolate, and also one with a rose. So ho hopefully they're good. The macarons from Pierre Hermé were pretty good. They were uh, worth the 10 euros that we paid for four of them. I think the most interesting flavor was the shisho leaf flavor. So uh, the other ones were pretty normal tasting. So on our first full day in Paris, we broke our all-time record for the number of steps. We walked over 35,000 steps today, which is about uh, 16 miles. This morning we woke up and got some pastries and bakeries from the uh, Boulangerie Utupi, which is right next to our hotel. So we got the croissant and a chocolate and cream pastry and also a lemon tart. The, we only ate the croissant so far and the croissant seems pretty good. Uh, I would say that it's not anything more special than what we can get in the Bay Area. Uh, so, so far the bakeries in Paris are okay, nothing special. So today we're going to be heading to the Versailles Palace. Uh, the train to Versailles this morning isn't working, so we're going to be taking the bus. It's uh, a little bit less convenient, but uh, hopefully it's a nice ride. So it turns out the train was working, so it was a nice short train ride uh, to the Versailles Chateau. Now we're going to be walking for about uh, 10 minutes to get to the palace. We just finished cruising around the rooms in the Chateau de Versailles. Uh, the rooms in the palace were, were nice, but I feel like uh, a lot of it is a lot of uh, ornamentation and the rooms felt like uh, a little bit too cluttered in terms of what there was in the room. It was no real feeling of like a coherent design. So the rooms I feel like aren't really worth it to visit. Uh, right now we're walking in the garden and the garden seems very nice. We're gonna have a bike ride around the garden. Walking around Versailles, there's some uh, classical opera music playing. I personally think it's kind of cheesy because it kind of, it's fake. It's just through speakers. So I don't really like it that much, but we're on our way to get the bikes. To be honest, uh, a lot of the Chateau de Versailles is kind of cheesy, so the music kind of fits in. We just finished our bike ride around the Chateau de Versailles. It's a great way of exploring the gardens because the garden is really big and you really need like a bike to ride around for about an hour to see everything and explore the canal and the different areas of the garden. So. The bikes were about 9 euros per person per hour and we think it was a very good deal. Um, and we think, we think that if we hadn't ridden the bike, it would be pretty boring to just walk around the garden uh, forever. So we highly recommend it. There's a free part of the garden and then there's a paid part. The bike ride is in the free part of the garden, which is actually the biggest part of the garden. It doesn't have any like statues or anything or any buildings. It's just a canal and a bunch of trees, but it's a very nice bike ride. It's breezy and the weather today was amazing. There's a water show in the garden every Tuesday. 
The little houses around the garden are pretty boring to be honest. Uh, like the Petit Trianon, there was uh, not much in there. It's similar to the regular palace, but uh, not as extravagant. The Queen's Hamlet area is pretty nice though. Overall, the Chateau de Versailles is a worthwhile visit, especially the gardens. Uh, the palace itself is pretty boring to us because the rooms, once again, they're kind of messy, cluttered, and a bit too ornamental. Um, so we do recommend the Chateau de Versailles, but mostly for the gardens. We just had uh, dinner at Picot. It's uh, a restaurant right next to our hotel. They mostly specialize in, in French cuisine. We uh, unintentionally got three fish dishes, a small fried fish with tartar sauce, a uh, stingray dish, and also a scorpion fish dish. And uh, all three of the uh, fish dishes were great. I think it was one of the best, uh, these are some of the best fish dishes I've ever had at a restaurant. Um, and then we got uh, two desserts, a strawberry dessert and also a oatmeal chocolate ganache dessert. Uh, the desserts were pretty healthy tasting. They're not like the rich desserts that you're normally used to, but they were also very good. So we highly recommend the picote. Can you believe it's 8.45 in the evening right now? 